Uh, my name is Ahmed Haridi. Uh, I'm a PhD student at the Electrical Engineering Department at University of California, uh, Los Angeles, UCLA. Uh, I have been here since the fall of 2014 and I am planning to graduate, hopefully, in the fall of 2018. Um, so, um, the reason why I applied uh, for UCLA is that uh, she has a, a very, very good group working on coding theory, which is the field I wanted to work at. Um, it was a pleasure and the, the entire journey until now it has been fun for me. Uh, I would recommend UCLA for other students. Uh, my advice for younger students will be basically that they first identify identify what they actually need to do instead of just running out uh, after rankings and stuff like that and my second advice for them will be to search for particular advisors especially PhD students is to search for particular advisors they do feel like they want to work with them because in the end ranking is not gonna matter as much as young students think thank you so um, where did you do your undergrad I did my undergrad at Cairo University and my masters at Cairo University in Egypt Oh, Egyptian. you're from Egypt? Yeah. I see. So what is the university called again? Cairo University. Cairo. 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 Oh, that's the capital. I see, capital. I see. So a quick second. So after your so. master's, did you have any work experience? Yeah, I've been working for eight years at Mentor Graphics Corporation, which is the company number three in electronic design automation in the so, world. So where in Mentor Graphics in Cairo? The branch in Cairo, yeah. I see. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know they had a branch in Egypt. Yeah. So uh, Mentor Graphics is a big company. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's they are just like behind the. So are they sponsoring? Did they want you to do a PhD or? No, no. Actually, I completely switched the field afterwards. So I now see. I'm not doing EDA anymore. I'm doing coding theory, which is sort of information theory, completely different than the. I see. So which course. all universities did you apply to? I applied to only three other schools. Um, four. Four other than UCLA, UCSD, San Diego, UC Irvine, Davis, and Carleton. So you that only wanted to be in California? Not necessarily California. These are the four schools where I found that big names working on the field I want to work on. Like why not MIT schools. or Harvard or in other places? Because I didn't find out uh, people I can work with coding theory with them that ca that contacted me. So I just wanted to make life simple. I had a journal paper before I come here. So I offered what I have to different advisors at, this, at different schools, including MIT and Stanford. Those who were interested were basically from the five schools I talked about. So basically I was just targeting them. It was for me targeting. And they all happen to be topic. in California. Yeah. Carleton is and in Canada. So, where did you get uh, admission? Where I got admission from all of them. I see. And why did you pick UCLA above the others? Well, for UCSD, the professor wanted me actually to sustain some GPA before they give me scholarship. For the others, they, uh, my time schedule was not like the best for them. Um, UCLA, the of course, it's the highest ranking. Ranking does not matter much, but the highest ranking and where the advisor gave me a solid offer from day one. So I it see. was not that hard of a choice. Okay. So uh, did you have to take GRE? Yeah, I had GRE, yeah. So what, can you tell us your GRE score? Uh, that was a long time ago. I got... About 1600, one, right? Yeah, yeah. No, uh, the, the score out of 170. I got 168. 168 in uh, quantitative. Uh, I didn't care about verbal. I got 140 something, 146 They don't or care seven. too much about verbal. I yeah, guess. That, at engineering, no one cares. And I got 4.5 in technical writing. I see. And did yeah. you have to take TOEFL, test of English, foreign language? Yes, I took TOEFL also. So what was the TOEFL? Uh, you are asking hard questions. It was <laughs> three years ago. So I think. Out of I, 120. Uh, yeah, I know it's out of 120. I got between 28 and 30 in everything except for the reading. I didn't do well in the reading. I think so. I let's got say overall about 100 to 110, something like that. 106 or 7, something like that. Okay. So out of five-star experience over here, how much would you rate UCLA PhD in electrical engineering? Uh, I would rate it 4.6. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, and round it off to 4.5. We only have 0.5 this thing, so. Uh, no, that, okay, so All to right. approximate it would be down. It's <laughs> hard see. to say five because there are of course problems. Why would you take off half a star? Something that you didn't like? Well, uh, the biggest thing I don't like is given that the, I think big part of the story is that they are a public school. Uh, lots of advisors are running after money. So 
money so and proposals and important. stuff is very important. So and yours. sometimes it determines the direction. So I don't like that very much since so, I was in industry mm -hmm. before. So you're saying they do the kind of research that has a lot of money in it? Yes, to a huge extent, yes. And you don't like it? Not necessarily, no, what I don't like, okay, I like coding theory. So the field is big and huge. But what I do love more is that uh, uh, universities lead industry, you know? So you set the directions and then industry say, yes, yeah, we like this or we like that. Not the reverse, which is industry are giving you different ideas and then you kind of work uh, after their well. So do you think if it's a private university with a lot of funding, then that problem should is solved? Should be better, yeah. Should be better. So if you had your life to live over again, you would go to a private university? Uh, that's not easy to say because probably they have their own problems also. This is not the only problem. It's and also, uh, oh yeah, and also it's not like, it's, it's in the end point five out of five, right? So I'm not saying all the research is like that. I'm saying it controls to some extent and that's something I don't like. All right. Okay, thank you very much and uh, best of luck. Sure, thank you.